What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to get on with it, even though uh, we're, we're sick. I've done a couple of things again in between episodes, uh, like clearing up this. I moved my cobblestone generation thing over here, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I just tried to make it symmetrical, even if this one doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's just to make it symmetrical, like it goes like this. And everything is behind with a phantom face connecting to this one. So it kind of worked. Uh, I've also continued with the auto crafting at the bottom. Uh, I can show you what I've set up in here. Uh, I've also added these. Uh, they're not connected yet. The thing that I want is the things that are here, I want them to be on separate uh, ME interface. I'm probably going to rename them to Auto Crafters uh, instead of having them over here and over there. Uh, simply because when they are auto crafting, you can't use the same crafter for other items. So I was thinking that these would be just all right for, for the ones that we have here. I would get 64, so I would have 32 over here. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be enough. Uh, but yes, yeah, so over here we've got Spruce, Nether Stars. Uh, logic processors are not done. Uh, it's been about 34, uh, 24 hours. Uh, they're at 3,467. It's just because they craft one at a time. Uh, that's why it's like a little bit insane. I should just up the recipe like to make 16 at a time. I think that would solve the issue. Uh, this thing here is uh, this one, this one again, the same thing. Uh, I added paper, slime, clay, gas tears, obsidian, sand, pistons, invar, uh, the enriched alloys, the reinforced alloys, and the atomic alloy. Uh, the, the thing at the moment, though, is because it needs to craft this one before it, cr it can craft that one. So that's why at the moment it's taking a little bit more time to do. Uh, but this one, I said a thousand, it's already done. So it's pretty good. So that's what I have for the moment. I've got 32 done. I haven't touched anything on this side. As soon as I'm going to see something else that I need. If you guys have any ideas that things that I should auto craft, let me know and I might put it in here. Uh, the thing I've also done over here is, if you remember, we connected this to move uh, the fluid that we're inside. So I did the fluid level emitter to 10 million. So that's 10,000 bucket of chrysot oil. And at the moment, it's been working great. I've got my 10,000 buckets. I've also did this here. So we've got a power cell with this thing. Uh, but in here, there's an augment for parabolic flux coupling. This thing allows for rapid wireless recharging of flux capacitors. So I made one flux capacitor. They're super easy to make with all the materials we have. That was so that uh, we can use our wireless crafting terminal without never having to recharge it. And other things like maybe a building gadget and stuff like that. Uh, so that was pretty good to do. Uh, again, quite easy to make, so I didn't think it was needed to do on camera. There's something else we've already done over here. I moved it over there. And I amplified it by, like, a lot. So, pretty much what I have is this thing make rosin. Uh, this thing here, uh, which is needed for... If we look at the recipe, it's needed to make this here. So this is going to be needed for the machine blocks and things like that in the future. Like you need it for a couple of things, even the resident cells, which you need to make other things. So that's why I decided to make an automation with it. Uh, the thing that is cool is that compression dynamo works with tree oil and water. So you can use this thing. The tree oil goes in here and then it outputs there. So it's just easy to make and there's things all around it. I know it's a little bit of a, bit of a kill, but uh, eh, why not? So yeah, there's also one more thing I've done. And this one is not really visible. You can't really see it unless you open your bag and you see that I've got a caster gunklet. Well, I've done a lot of research into Tomcraft 
Uh, I can show you a little bit what I've done. Uh, pretty much, I didn't really care about what was popping in front of me. I did the one that I had the items for. So, Precantation Beast here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I moved the the V crystals over here instead of where the blood magic were, so that way we can access it in our system. Uh, that kind of makes it easier for me to do these, as I don't have to go at the end of the world to get my stuff. So, all right, Precantitia Bestia. So it's the uh, wait, it's A E. All right, and Bestia. So you do this. Uh, it does not consume them. If it's going to consume them, there's an exclamation mark next to it, like this one here. Uh, so at the moment, as you can see, we've got alchemy in this. I don't really care about uh, getting more alchemy. I've already got a lot. So it's going to remove 15 from this one and add 30 to this one. Uh, for this one, it's going to... This one is good for me because I need more infusion. When it's blue, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I think it's going to give you a point. Uh, you can get Oromancy, or you're going to lose again. I'll keep, keep it more. So I'm going to go Oromancy, just because why not? Uh, now there's again Oromancy, or splitting everything equally. And this one here, again, 25 divided evenly across all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Oromancy. Uh, so we're going to go to Infusion again. I'm going to go to Infusion again, because it's one that's really important for me because I need it for a lot of it. Uh, over here, as you can see, my levels have gone down. It's because Oromancy does that you lose 5 levels, and you gain 25 Oromancy. Alright, so let's do again Infusion. Uh, again, here we can gain a little bit of Oromancy, but we have the chance to get Warp. So we're just going to do it. So I did gain some Warp, which is a bad thing. And uh, this thing's going to give us a little bit of Golem. So when we complete this, we've got a chance mostly to get these two. Yeah, so as you saw, we're getting these two. So then you can get in here and go into what you need to accomplish. So let's say we would want, uh, I don't know, this one here. So you need one theory Golem NC, but every time you use it, so you, you get your list of what you have here. So... Here we've got three artifice. So if something needs one artifice, I'm going to lose one artifice. I'm going to need to grab another one to be able to do something that is two or something of the sort. So this is why it gets a little bit complicated when you do your research. So here I need a golem in C and an artifice. Uh, for the other ones, I pretty much done it. Uh, I'm not wanting to do these because when you complete them, you're going to get a little bit of warping. Uh, so I'm going to wait a little bit for this. Uh, these here, so I need Fortune 1 to do this one. Let's see here, so we can complete this. So again, I used this one, now I'm at zero. So that's the thing that I noticed. It's not that hard again, like you saw, I'm pretty much only using these. Uh, sometimes you're gonna get, like, you need clay or something. Uh, you need, like, a piston, or you need a couple of things like this. Uh, so it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. Like over here, you see I need Perdicio uh, with his here and Ignis. So boom. It But these, they took it and they gave me Jellum because Jellum is pretty much, I think, the mix of these two or it makes me learn one by using the other two. It's kind of cool that it does things like this. Uh, these are just a little bit hard because of the, fi the file. So that's why I'm not really doing them at the moment. Ah, uh, you can do this one, but I'm gonna go with this one instead. Uh, ponder, rethink. Rethink is good when you don't have uh, exactly what you want. Uh, so this one's gonna separate it. And here you have it, so you can give clay for 20 of this, but I'm gonna go for this one. And again, let's rethink. Let's calibrate. And let's focus. So now again, we should have these two. Or none at all. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how we get all of these. I think it just adds more to the line. And when it's blue, it's supposed to give you the, the level. But sometimes like the things are changing while you click because it's not instant when it modifies it. So you got to be careful with this. But today we're going to go into a path that I've never went before. But first of all, <laughs> first of all, we're going to fall into a hole. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our book. 
I thought I was above the hole. <laughs> all right, we're going to go mystical and we're going to go all the way. No, we're going to sleep first because I don't want the rain. All right. So let's go at the top. And you're going to see I prepared something because I prepared more stuff. Uh, turns out it's not really needed. I've looked into the potential of this and to be honest, not that great of a potential. I thought it was more power given than this. Uh, but over here I can put 150 of these wind generator. They produce 180 each, which if you calculate, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Uh, one thing I kind of want to show you that is, I, I thought it was funny. Um, so look at the speed of this thing spinning. Okay, we're doubling it. It now two times faster. Now it's faster. Uh, it's faster, 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 So yeah, the more you have in your inventory, the more you're able to see, the faster they go. So it's quite funny. Alright, so we're pretty much gonna connect these. They're at the maximum height they can be. Oh, that's not what I thought would happen. Can I just do like something? Nah, it's... This is something I hate. So you need to be aligned properly. I'm not sure it could... Uh, maybe I could use just uh, this thing here instead. Maybe I could select this and it would work. No, because I need to hold shift to be able to place it. Unless I just make... A floor here that I can remove after that. This should work. And it's gonna be a lot faster. Alright, let's grab our wand. These do make a lot of noise. Alright, come on. Okay, so I made this so that it fits in one chunk. Alright, so boom, 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 boom. Alright, now can I use you? Oh, wait. All right, there we go, we can use those. So like I said, it's not necessarily a lot of power, but it gives a little bit, it gives like around 30,000 or 30 something thousand. So can't complain, let's be honest, it's power. That is just going to give me power without me even doing anything. It doesn't need material once it's been crafted. So that's pretty good. Can't complain about these. Well, I can. They should make more power. That's the way I see it. <laughs> All right. Oh no, I'm missing some? Oh, I thought I had like the perfect amount. Turns out I was missing some. All right, I was missing two. And let's vein mine this. Perfect. But yeah, so this is going to give us a little bit of power and it's just going to be there. I know it's weird. That's not how a uh, windmill kind of work. But even if they're facing something else, they, uh, they still produce. So kind of good. But all right, so this thing goes into here and goes back into our system. All right, the next thing we want to do and the reason I kind of wanted more power is because I'm not sure how these things need power. So there's a couple of things uh, from machine blocks. Uh, these things here. So you can make a lot of structures and these can be used to make things. The, the one I really want is the metallurgic fabricator and I believe I want the thermionic fabricator or the advanced carpenter. I don't remember which of the two. But over here, uh, this one, you've got the list here, but it needs six liquid mutagen. So we're going to look at mutagen and we're going to start making the block, which is this one here is the mutagen producer. And this thing creates mutagen with redstone block. So take this. Uh, we're not going to need like a crazy amount, I don't think. So I'm just going to place this thing here and put that there. Uh, this thing, as you can see, is really slow. 
So let's do this another way. So we're going to make another power cell. All right. I should have one more. No, this one is the unlinked one. All right. So let's put this thing like here. Oh, I could have used that one. All right. Let's use that one. So this thing's going to give more power at a time. So it's going to be better. All right. But we're going to. Oh, wow. Okay. We're not giving it any power, enough power. But it's kind of producing a lot. That's good. Uh, all right. Let's try to give it even more power. I'm not sure if it will. Oh, it does. All right. So maybe there's a limit of power per side that you can transport. So that's a good thing to know. All right. We need six buckets. So we're going to grab some buckets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the thing, though, with uh, the machines is there's kind of a pattern. Like, th this is the way you do this. Uh, so carpenter, okay, that's going to be easy to do. Uh, but yeah, there's like blueprints and stuff. I'm not sure if you actually need the blueprint or if you just can make it by yourself. Uh, but we're going to see. Uh, the reason I want the metallurgic is because we can make titanium. And if you remember, we looked at making liquid chlorine before. So this is going to be easy for us to make. Uh, as getting salt should be easy. Carbon plate as well. As it's just pulverizing these, turning it. And then we can get titanium easily to make more things. Because titanium is needed for the next phase of everything. I know, you can also get those by going to other planets. But, why would I do that when I can do it here by myself? So, I think there's a way. Yeah, so you can make ingots. So, titanium alumite, titanium alumite, and titanium iridium. And these can be used to make, like, advanced rockets. Uh, they can be used to make... Uh, I think the plates give me something. Yeah, so they, they give you a bunch of things. Like, you're going to be able to make the simple machines for Ender I.O., and that's a big thing to get, because you can make the simple machine after this. So, yeah. Let me gather all the material that I can make for the machine. And we're going to put it somewhere in the base. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them in the base, or if I'm going to put them in the inside uh, a maximum compact machine yet. It depends on if they lag or if they don't. So, let me do this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've got everything. It took a little bit of longer than I anticipated. I've also made the pattern. I'm not sure like it's actually needed. But uh, I've made like a bunch of things that were probably not needed. I'm thinking I'm going to place it here. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Can I just like right click this? Oh, you can. Uh, Okay, missing structure. Oh, so you really, really need to do the everything by yourself. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I don't have everything. Uh, machine. Oh, no, I've got like a... <laughs> like this, you need so much. And like an idiot, I made a bunch of it. Like I'm even uh, crafting more <laughs> redstone stuff. Like over here. And... Turns out that there's a second recipe for this crap. Yeah, once you've made it. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much... Uh, but this thing, I, I was right. I was right. If you look at, like, the recipe, 25,000 FE a tick. So, c quite expensive uh, in power and stuff. But, all right, so let's look into the Matrix. So, we need six blocks here. So, this is an output. Uh, fluid input. Energy. Output item. Input item. Uh, the middle bit, I want to put it as glass. Then we need the liquid in the middle and the outside. All right. Yeah, it's doable. All right. So, let's put the six things... Over here, then we're going to do boom, boom, boom. The three in the back are items. 
our other things. So we're going to have the output here, the energy in the middle, and the fluid input on the left. Uh, I decided to use huge input for the items and output as well. Uh, but for everything else. Oh, yeah, these burn. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay. There we go. Now you. Uh, empty. There we go. And then we can do this. As such, the two circuitry in the middle and the four vent there. Structure found none. Missing structure. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. This thing is exactly the way it shows in the picture. All right, so let's see again. Uh, is it that if you use the big ones, all of them needs to be big? Maybe that's it. All right, let, let's just do small ones for these. Maybe it's going to work. Did I place all the liquid correctly? Oh, I may not have placed the liquid correctly. All right. Uh, let's turn this on. Yeah, there, there's one liquid missing here in the corner. There we go. Now I've got the six. So maybe that was it. That was the only thing that was uh, not working. All right. So let's do this again. The output. Input. Missing structure. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure like what they want me to do. Mm. Oh, the, the glass, the glass can only be primal mana or platinum. Okay, so we're going to do this and let's see. Can I make platinum glass? Uh, hardened platinum glass. This thing here. What am I missing? Oh, this. <laughs> Stupid Topcraft. I hear my heart beating. Wait, let, let's just make sure the machine... Uh, no, not that, that. Okay, so here, hardened mana infused glass or hardened, hardened platinum glass. All right, so like I said, I should be fine with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, platinum. Let's get this into the manufacturer. All right. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. All right, let's put these instead of the other one. I thought you could put any of them. Uh, turns out you can only put some of them. All right, still not enough energy. Okay, 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 that, that makes sense. That's perfect. That's all good to me. Let's grab this. Let's put, for the moment, this is going to be there. All right. Is there enough energy? Missing input items. All right. Uh, and then it's going to be like missing input fluid. Yeah. So that's the thing. It kind of looks like it does one thing. That's it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this, but... Uh, I'm thinking of doing this one, but again, we don't have this. So let's look. Maybe we're going to try to make a Modellarian because we're going to need more. Uh, 
let's see some Madalorian. Okay. Oh, but wait, that's the metallurgic. Yeah, that's the one I'm doing. Okay. We can also make that one. The mana infused, the osmeridium, the osglow glass. All right, let, let's try this here. So electrical steel. All right. Uh, this thing with platinum. And the other one is empowered something. Uh, is it that one? Yeah, okay, it's that one. So let's just check if we put like the item. So we place this, we place that, and place that in there. Oh, wow. Okay, it's already doing it. And we get our output. So yeah, for these, it's nice. What if I've got a liquid in there? So that's the thing I, I want to see. Give me that last one. We're going to put the random liquid in there just to see what happens. So Ender tank. And I've got a bucket. All right. We're just going to put one liquid just to see if it breaks the recipe. Okay, so now there's liquid in there. Missing input item. So if I put this. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Oh, no, it's doing it. Okay, maybe maybe I was wrong. All right, so it won't use the liquid. That is good. So that means we're going to be able to put the liquid that we need for the other recipe and just pump the items when we need to into here. Uh, this thing, shh. I'm thinking, should I move it? It's like one, two, three, four, just like the same size as this. That would be perfect here, but it's not perfect there. Yeah, maybe that, that would be a good idea. I think I can do this, but I'm pretty happy. Uh, now I'm just going to have to automate this thing, but it's a lot faster and less expensive than doing this. Uh, and also there's the issue of these, if you don't know. Uh, when you do these, if you, let's say, autocraft this thing here, what is going to happen is uh, you're kind of going to have an issue because of the fact that you need the this one, you automate this thing. So one is going to put into your compacting drawer. It's going to put them as an ingot. So if you need the other one and don't have the recipe, it's not going to see that it can do anything about it. So it's kind of going to have a problem. I'm kind of seeing that I might have a little bit of lag with this thing. When it... Uh no, okay, it seems it seems okay, but like I said, I might move these into uh, into the 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 little rooms that we have, these kind of things, uh, just to make sure that we have everything at the same place and we could work again with Ender Chest easily. Uh, no issue there, uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. I was able to craft one. Uh, I did make a second controller so that we can make. Uh, the other ones that we're going to need, like the Termionic Fabricator and the Advanced Carpenter. So if we look at Carpenter, like there's this one that can make Ludocrite with liquid DNA. And uh, it's going to be needed for the uh, the Wyvern Core. We can, oh, Primal Mana, that's good, I didn't know. Uh, this one I made some, but it's a little bit complicated because I don't have a setup to make printed engineering circuit. I got something to make the processors, so I might have to rethink my way of doing this. Uh, there's like all these things that we can do in here, but they all take liquid, which is kind of my problem with this. Like, how do I get my liquid in there exactly what I want, or do I need to make multiple ones? to be able to have like all the liquid. Can I just like have multiple input of liquid and just all have different liquids? If you guys know the answer to this, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that would be really useful uh, as I'm not sure about any of this. Uh, I could, could maybe give it a try. Just see if it's gonna freak out. Uh, let's see, a liquid. Uh, okay, let's do input. Fluid input. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is kind of the thing. Like, you need a bunch of things to make them. They're a little bit annoying. Like, fluid. 
There we go. Okay, so I've got another one. Let's like break one side. Like break this, place another one. Is this thing still? No. So it's kind of an issue. Yeah. And now it's working. So I'm not sure how this thing works. Uh, if you guys know a trick how to make these kind of things, let me know. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.